What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I got some new news concerning Canelo Alvarez. Mr. Alvarez, um, I want to talk to you guys about uh, the statements that he made on an interview by AK and Barack with DAZN. And, you know, in this interview, they asked him, like, well, like, you know, after Gennady Golovkin, who would you like to fight? Who would be that person? that you would target now, you know, since the cash cow or since the boogeyman, you know, has been defeated, you know, and he, he called out Floyd Money Mayweather. He said that he would love to make that fight. He said that, you know, that is a strike against his record that he would like to remove. He would like to take that thorn out of his side, you know, so obviously that's, that's still bothering him to this day. You know, and this was the first and only decision that Canelo Alvarez has lost. You know, he also said that, you know, he, he was 22 years old. He thought he was ready to fight Floyd. And, you know, uh, experience beat him that night. You know, um, I would definitely agree with a twist. I would say Floyd beat him that night. You know, and before I get into that, let me tell you something about Canelo Alvarez that I have to give him props and um, and just let everyone know that Canelo Alvarez is, that's a smart move he's doing going to 168. Because, see, he's going after Rocky Feldman's belt, you know, the WBA belt, you know, and he's the new crown king at 168. You know, he's not the most dangerous. No, he's not. You know what I mean? But that would be stupid to put him in with someone like Ramirez right now. You know what I mean? So he's taking on Rocky Fieldman and getting that belt, right? He hasn't vacated the belts of the WBC and the WBA, right, back in um, 160. So he has two different, if he beats Fieldman, he would have two, he would be champion in two different weight classes, right? That only raises your profile. Mind you, Deverinchenko and Jacobs fighting for the IBF belt, okay, that the one that was stripped from Golovkin, waiting on Canelo, right? So then, uh, you know, of course, Danny Jacobs, he fights on zone. He's with Matchroom. So they're fighting on the same platform. How hard do you think these fights would, would, it would take to get made? There's no network problem. It's a, it would be a promotional thing at that point, but they're fighting on the same platform. You know what I mean? So a unification in the middleweight division would be that much sweeter. And if, and only if Canelo can get past Jacobs, um, I believe that would put him over the top. The only belt would be left is the WBO, you know, that was recently vacated from Billy Joe Saunders. Okay. So, you know, after Jacobs, then he gets the WBO, he would be the undisputed middleweight champion of the world. On top of being the WBA 168-pound middleweight champion of the world. On top of signing the biggest deal in boxing history. That's big. No one can say that. You know, you can be an eight-division world champion like Manny Pacquiao. You can uh, make the most money you've ever made in one night, which is Floyd Mayweather. But then you can be that person that signed the biggest deal in boxing, which is Canelo Alvarez. So, yeah, from one, two to the three, you know, he can have his own legacy and sign his own deal with that is, with signing something where that hasn't been done before and probably never will be done again. You know what I mean? And, and that's coming from a pay-per-view platform, right? So he's the last of his kind. He's the last of his kind to even have these type of opportunities. You know what I mean? And you have to take your hat off to Oscar De La Hoya, though, you know, and in the collaboration with Canelo. So, you know, Cane Oscar has protected, marketed, guided Canelo Alvarez the best way any other promoter could have ever guided or done a fighter, period. You know what I mean? Because the, the, here's the deal. It goes back to Canelo, though. Yeah, I got to take my hat off to Canelo because... Canelo is one loyal guy. You can say what you can about him being swanky or whatever, but he is loyal and he showed his loyalty with his team. He's been with the Reynoso since day one. Okay. He been with Oscar De La Hoya when he, when Oscar De La Hoya was going through all the stuff that he was going through with rehab and other inner demons, he stuck with Oscar De La Hoya. 
He stuck with the Reynosos after the loss, the first loss of his career. You know what I mean? Normal fighters would think they would have to change trainers to get an edge psychologically or or it's the trainer's fault. No, he, he you know, he blamed himself for that. Experience beat him. Now, um, that's what he stated. Experience beat him. Um, the experience that he was referring to is a boxer, Floyd. Floyd beat him. You know, any boxer will give Canelo problems. Any boxer. You know what I mean? It, especially one with a high boxing IQ. Remember Iris Landy Lara? He gave him problems too. A lot of people thought he lost that fight. You know what I mean? It, it's just the style of that fighter will give uh, Canelo problems. Because Canelo is not that guy like Angulo or uh, um, Julio Cesar Chavez or any any Mexican fighter that likes to brawl. He's not that kind of dude. He's not good at cutting off the ring. He doesn't do that. He waits for you to come in. You know, he takes a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and he and he makes his own fighting style. He's like the Jeet Kune Do of boxing. That's him. You know, I, well, the Wing Chun of boxing would go to, to Loma. But if you had to take a person that took and, and absorbed many different things from different fighters, that's Canelo Alvarez. You know, um... Now, speaking of a Mayweather and Canelo 2, that fight would be good. It would be good um, business-wise. You know, it would do very well. But, you know, um, stylistically now, you know, Floyd is 41 years old. You know, I mean, how good would he do with Canelo Alvarez right now? You know what I'm saying? Honestly, how good would he do? You know what I mean? How good would he do with... Um, Canelo now, you know, you know what? I mean, here's the thing. I wouldn't want to fight, you know, I wouldn't want anyone to fight not in their prime like that and get beat up with someone that's clearly in their prime. You know, I think the time has, I don't know. I don't want to underestimate Floyd because Floyd is one of those type of dudes that, He's just going to be difficult to beat. But then how how much is his skills diminished? You know, we've seen him in the McGregor fight, but that really wasn't a real fight. You know, and he fought McGregor a certain way because he knew McGregor couldn't spin off the pivot. You know what I mean? Didn't have the the knowledge to punch on the sides of the glove. You know what I mean? Just basic fundamentals that other fighters could do, you know, other than Floyd. I mean, other than uh, May uh, McGregor. So we really don't know how he would look in a true boxing match on an elite level. It would answer questions. If he did take on Canelo Alvarez, that would show balls. It would show boldness. It would show uh, everything I said about him from picking fights and picking guys and are inviting the younger guys, which I feel he did. That would take away all that because Canelo Alvarez is one of the best fighters. You know what I mean? He has a be beautiful fighting style. You know what I mean? And if he took him on now at 28 and he's 41, you know what I mean? Dude, that would be, I, I couldn't say anything. You know what I mean? I, I would just have to respect it. If he won or if he lost, I would have to respect it because then he's fighting someone on the elite level. You know what I mean? That That's big. That's massive. You know, but will Floyd do that? You know what I mean? Floyd has his own talks with Manny Pacquiao. You know, if Manny can't get past Broner, which I think Manny can, um, you know, then he'll fight Broner. So he has his own thing going on the Heyman side of, 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 of that side of the street. Right. But Canelo is a big thing. Canelo is that guy that if you gave him the fountain of youth and he could live forever, he could still spend a million dollars a year for the next 365 years. You know what I'm saying? That's big. That's massive. You know, and his family set, everyone set, you know, um, but I like the way that they're marketing Canelo now, and I like the approach. Go to 168, have that belt, have another option, you know what I mean, just in case, you know, um, Jacobs beats Deverinchenko and calls out Canelo for a fight. They're both on, on the zone app, you know what I mean? You know, then Canelo, well, if he's not ready for that fight, he could fight someone at 168, even though I would like to see him fight someone like Uskatagi. I would love to see that fight between him and Canelo. You know, because that would be a war. That would be someone coming right at him like a bigger, stronger, powerful Angulo. You know what I mean? But just bigger and taller. 
You know, I would love to see that fight. I would love to see that fight. You know, and, and if he gives us those type of fights, fighting someone like already Rocky Feldman is a tall guy with 6'2", 6'3". You know, that guy's big. He's massive. And it is a rematch clause, like a dehydration clause in it, which is which was smart. But, you know, um, I think he would be the easier of the champions, you know, but why not? He just got out of a tough fight with Golovkin. You know, this is kind of like a challenge by itself because he is moving up in weight. It ain't like him fighting Beefy Smith when he moved down in weight to, you know what I mean, to beat a smaller guy, you know, which he beat him with no problem. You know, so uh, like a Davy, David and Goliath kind of fight. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Canelo works that body like that. You know what I mean? Go to the body. But, you know, that would that should be a good, interesting fight. That's on December 15th. By the way, I will put the description if you wanted to download uh, the DAZN app. Um, I have that uh, link b below, you know, in the description box. So, um, but Floyd and Canelo, mm, you know... Floyd would show what he still has, sure. But I don't think he'll take that fight. You know what I mean? I think he's wise enough not to at this year. And you know, and I, I couldn't blame him right now because he's 41. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know Hopkins fought to damn near 50. He fought to 50 years old and was still beating guys at like 47, 48. I understand that. And I you know, he could challenge himself from fighter to fighter, like, you know. Uh, that would be a good thing. You know, Bernard could lure lure uh, Mayweather out and say, hey, Mayweather, I was fighting top guys when I was 48 years old. You're 41. I did that when I was 41. You know, you could do that, you know, because Bernard, of course, is the co-promoter of Canelo Alvarez. So that would be a good approach to that. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't I don't know. I just don't see Floyd doing that because that's just too risky. That's risky business. You know, and then on top of that, who says Floyd wants to fight on the zone? Floyd will do what he wants to do at the end of the day. That's Floyd, you know. So we don't really know how that will, pan, will, will really pan out, you know what I mean? Because you're looking at the person that is the pay-per-view king, okay? He's the, still the pay-per-view king. Nobody has broke his record. And, you know, telling someone like Floyd Mayweather, someone that's accustomed to doing what he wants to do, to fight on an app, you know, the only thing is, who's to say that Canelo can fight him from signing this multi-lucrative fight uh, contract with the zone? You know, he might not can't, you know, unless he does it outside of the two fights he's fighting a year for them, because he's fighting this one fight this year, right? And then two fights each year after that for the next five years. So who's to say if Floyd wanted to fight, you know, if that fight was really wanting, either, if Floyd really wanted it, how could it happen? You know what I mean? How could it really happen? Because Floyd would be like, no, I want my pay-per-view money because I know this shit's going to sell. I'm not going to put it on any app or any app, you know. Maybe if it, maybe it's an addition, but, you know, Floyd, I don't think he'll go for it. I, I honestly don't. But, I mean, it would be a good fight. Um business wise you know and canelo would be the hired favorite because he's just simply younger stronger you know and floyd is not how he used to be floyd's body broke down a long time ago guys people don't understand that his body broke down his hands are brittle you know he can still punch but it costs him it takes pain to inflict pain with floyd you know he just made it look a certain way the only time he looked like he was hurt when he fought um I forget the guy. It wasn't Jesus Chavez, but it was his first recorded knockdown. Okay. And he went down because he hit the guy wrong. You know what I mean? And that's when we knew. And that's when he showed people that his hand, he, he had one knuckle removed from his hand, you know, already at that time. And he was a young guy at that point. So he really couldn't afford to be pretty boy anymore. You know what I'm saying? So we don't know how that's been. You know, I mean, I know he still trains. I know he's still fast. He'll always be fast. Manny will always be fast. These guys on that elite level, they surprise me. You know what I mean? I admire guys like that that can still do the damn business, you know? So, but I don't know. I mean, Canelo, I can understand Canelo wanting to call out Floyd, Money Mayweather, to get to avenge that loss. But honestly, if he wanted to fight anyone, it would be Lara to me. Because Lara is a guy that's still active. Um, he's a guy that it, it was a controversial loss. He was a guy that he did not fight again. 
just like Floyd didn't fight Oscar and Oscar wanted that fight, Laura wanted that fight when Canelo wouldn't give him the rematch. So it's it's kind of an equal like thing. You know, when Trinidad, when Oscar fought Trinidad, you know, and, he, you know, and then for some reason, a rematch was never done. They just went on about their careers. Right. And then they both did big things, you know. Um, so anyway. Yeah, if it happens, of course, uh, yeah, I would watch it. You know what I mean? You guys tell me what you think about Floyd Money Mayweather versus Soul Canelo Alvarez Part 2. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.